Hello! In this video I will tra try to show you how easy it is to start with Git and Trtose Git. It's uh, pretty simple because Trtose Git will make your life much easier than a regular Git. And you don't need to know, let's say, everything, but when you uh, get to know to use the Git uh, via Trtose Git option, then you can uh, uh, slowly and surely go go in deeper and uh, learn uh, other things. But in this video, let's first uh, start by creating uh, initial Git repository and one uh, initial commit. Uh, there is a one prerequisite that uh, that uh, I skipped when uh, when installing Trtose Git in the last video, and that is basically this. Uh, I didn't specify uh, my uh, uh, name and email. Uh, this configuration uh, will be will be stored in in a global conf Git configuration. So uh, because of this, uh, I now cannot uh, commit because for every commit there should be assigned the user who did it. So how can I fix this? Uh, if you skipped as I in in uh, my latest video this configuration, now you need to do next thing. So, because we have our tools get installed, simply on the right click, we now have uh, our tools uh, options. So, please go to the tools git and settings. Now. Uh, just go to the git tab press ok and exactly here you have uh, you have your uh, user info uh, as we can see uh, that the configuration source that is currently selected is global so we will uh, fill exactly this please input your uh, username and input your email. And this is basically uh, only thing that is currently needed in order for us to start with the Git. So, after you finish this, press apply and press OK. If you want to or check out are those changes now applied you can simply go back to the settings and back to the uh, git tab now you can uh, see informations here but you can even edit uh, global git config because these changes will be stored here so let's open this and here exactly only the changes uh, that that uh, we introduced right now so when we have this let's create one test folder uh, called it init test and open that folder now uh, here let's create one uh, plain text document which is called for example main.c and let's add one line for example hello world uh, save that line and close out uh, so let's say that this is the uh, beginning of our large project and we would like to have a version control over it so we are those git this is pretty simple to start from scratch so we will uh, right click inside the folder and uh, here we have the option uh, git crea create repository here select this option and you will not like to create the bare option, but the regular Git uh, uh, Git uh, Git repository. So do not select this and press OK. And your empty Git repository is created. 
now, as you can see, nothing changed. Our file isn't uh, still isn't added to this Git repository. But if we go to the Views tab and now uh, show hidden files, we should be able to see this uh, hidden folder uh, .git. This means that our now uh, init test folder is now Git repository. So uh, next thing is to add this uh, file to our Git repository. And that can be done simply as going to the Tritos Git. And we have here option uh, Git commit master. Uh, this is the uh, default main branch, which is which is selected for for our use case. So, by clicking on it, we'll have this pop-up window, which uh, now we have couple couple of options uh, to, to to select. Uh, first thing first, what we uh, should should know that currently our uh, main dot dot c file is is a uh, not version file so in order to make it uh, uh, to to uh, add this file to our repository we should simply do just next thing next thing just select this with this option we will add uh, this this file to to our repository now let's make commit of it uh, we need to add this commit message and because this, is, this will be initial commit let's just input uh, init commit of course we can set outer and you can clearly see that this will be information from our uh, git global config file and i like to set the date of, of this commit now when we have all of this so when we have our commit message and our set outer date uh, and set outer and we have select our file from not uh, version files list we can go to the uh, commit button and this uh, this uh, shows you that this uh, commit was successful now what is changed now we can see the uh, those git overlay inside our uh, file browser which is saying that our uh, main.c file is uh, tracked uh, via git and currently up to date but what will happen if we do something like this if we open our file and now decide that we would like to change something for example just add one character save this close out the editor now our git is uh, our, our close git is telling us that our file has changed and that we now need to do couple uh, now that we have a couple of options we can revert these changes or we can commit these changes to the to the uh, uh, to our master branch first how can we for example now revert the changes so for example we don't like that that uh, additional character and we would like to revert our our file we can simply do that by uh, right clicking on the file going it through to those git options and we have uh, the option here that will call uh, that that is say revert but before do that if we are not aware of all the changes in our file we can simply do next thing we can uh, go to the to those git and choose the diff option this will take the different from our uh, last committed file and our current changes so if you open the diff we can clearly see that on the left hand side we have our old main.c.txt uh, file 
and at the right hand side we have uh, our new file with additional character which is clearly marked with this yellow that this this part was added so now let's do two things let's reverse the file and let's then again uh, introduce the change and then commit those changes to 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 our git repository we can revert these changes or revert file to its original state that is currently on the master branch by simply going to the tutorials git revert select the file and press ok this will revert our file and we will have this success uh, message and that is it now if we open our file we will not have a addition character also we also have this green check mark uh, here let's again open our file and let's introduce now some different change save the file and now we would like to commit this change how can we do that simply by uh, right clicking in the folder going to the git commit to the master so we are committing to the same branch but now uh, noticed one thing now our main.c.txt uh, file isn't in uh, in untracked uh, files list but it's uh, in regular list and already uh, already selected this this means that our file is already tracked by uh, git and those git and we simply need to update uh, its revision inside the git repository how can we do that of course we need commit message so we will say something like second commit and of course for now just select date and author and press commit and close and again now our current version on the on the trunk is 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 this version of a file the great thing about those git that is graphical and now we can easily see our changes or our git history how can we do that by going to the by uh, selecting right click going to the throws git and going to the show log and here we can see that we had initial commit and now that we are on the on the second commit of course we can see here that uh, what actions are are uh, done in this commit uh, in this commit we had uh, added one file so before this we didn't have anything but in this commit we added uh, our main.c.txt uh, file to our git repository but in this uh, in this commit the action is different in this commit we only modify that file of course here we have complete uh, complete um, commit message so if it's for example longer we can see uh, all the information here and of course we have affected uh, affected files here uh, this is all for this short introduction to, to those git see you in the next video